Hey everyone, Philip here. Hey everyone, Julia here. So today we wanted to make a video talking about monetization on YouTube. Uh, it's something that we actually just achieved very recently and wanted to share some data with you about what it's like for a new channel, especially a really small channel like us, to first get monetized. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so absolutely, in order to get monetized on YouTube, you have to meet two criteria. First, you have to have over a thousand subscribers. And second, you have to hit either 4,000 watch hours in, or at least have $10 million views on uh, YouTube Shorts. Yeah, so, 10 million short views. Oh, yeah. 10 million short views. So we actually hit our monetization goal with 4,000 watch hours. Yeah, that was what was holding us back for a while. We had the 1,000 subscribers. Uh, we actually had like 1,400. Uh, so that was totally fine. But we were stuck at like just over 3,000 watch hours. Uh, the, the other thing with that is it has to be in the past 365 days. Mm -hmm. So we had enough watch hours. I think we had over 4,000. It was just ticking over from the past year or so. And we had to like catch up to that and surpass that rate. Uh, I don't think it'll take it away from us if we get less watch hours in the future. But who knows? We'll make another video if it happens. But yeah, so from our first day, mm -hmm. we got a whopping dollar and 76 cents. We'll have it up on the screen here for you to check out. Which honestly, I was uh, pretty surprised. I was expecting maybe like a few pennies, if that, I don't know. I was just surprised overall. I never thought we could make money from YouTube. That's something Philip always said that, you know, like maybe if our channel grow bigger, we can make a little bit side money. Mm -hmm. But I always thought that, you know, there are professional video makers out there. And, you know, in the very beginning when we started our YouTube channel, we watched some other YouTube videos about how to make a great YouTube channel. And they all said that you had to be very specific for one very niche things. For example, if we're talking about Lego investing, you just focus your entire channel to that. Or if you're like Mr. Beast, you should have like ideas, creations, or fan base. Uh, if you're doing makeup, you should like just talk about makeup. Uh, and then you've seen our videos. We're kind of like all over the place. We're not really focused on one thing. Yeah, I guess you could say it's just like our lives and experiences is kind of our focus, which is very broad, so. Right, but for a very yeah. long time, like, who would be interested in watching our videos in our lives? Yeah, like, we were super surprised. Honestly, yeah. we took a break for a few years, and that's when we came back and we noticed, like, oh, wow, we actually had, like, a thousand subscribers, so maybe we can, like, try it again, and that's what we've been doing. So, right, yeah. and I think our most watched videos are how to get into the Naval Academy, uh, which, you know, we're very glad that we can provide some helpful, insightful information. Yeah, and also my uh, video on the cruiser tour, that one was very popular for some reason. Got like over 50,000 views, I think. Right, yeah. and lately I've been making a few videos about uh, being an immigrant in America, just because it's my personal experience, it's something I'm pretty passionate about. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. yeah, so over the first week, we can share the data from that as well. Uh, our best day over the first week was almost $7, $6.98, which was pretty cool to see it get up that high. Um, and then the grand total over the first week was just over $35. Yeah, $35.50. So. Which I thought was very impressive. Yeah, so we were both surprised. We'll see where it goes from here if it actually ramps up. It's kind of gone up and then it's like kind of gotten a little choppy. Like it hasn't gone back down to a dollar, the lowest like of the first day but it hasn't been more than like the obviously the six dollars so mm -hmm. yeah right and yeah. i definitely like before i feel like being an influencer is not a very difficult job but now i definitely changed my view on that um you really have to think about what you want to say you know like how how to film your day and have the the resilience or the persistence to post videos every day to you know get the get the fan base and that's something pretty difficult to do and sometimes you have to share some vulnerable things about yourself and i i mean i haven't shared much very vulnerable things about us or about myself so i admire the the bravery or you know like like some other influencers have you know we're by no means influencers we're just two pretty ordinary people living our life yeah uh, it's been fun though to to do this and try something new definitely mm -hmm. so yeah if you want to uh know anything else let us know we'll definitely do an update in the future at some point about how the monetization is going but uh yeah so it is possible to make money from youtube eventually first right. i thought it'd be super easy like oh just post a video and someone gets lucky and they get a ton of views because the youtube algorithm decides to but 
I don't know. We've just been slowly chipping away at it and it's starting to pay off a little bit, which is cool to see. Right. And please let us know if you want to see anything else because we're kind of running out of topics here. We can only talk so much about the Naval Academy or me being an immigrant, you know, about prototype. Our life experience is very limited. So maybe we have to find new passion or some stuff. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. See where life takes us. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, we'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye.